Tesla Model 2 hatchback and crossover have made a lot of people very interested. Everyone has been talking about what these cars will offer, but unfortunately, a lot of speculation has been way off. However, Tesla fans need not to fear, as existing online data shows that Tesla Model 2 hatchback will likely have fantastic torque, electric range, luxuries, and speed. Meanwhile, Tesla Model 2 crossover should feature all-wheel drive capability and improve aerodynamics. Both Tesla models will undoubtedly provide the usual Tesla quality, and they look set to exceed expectations. So today, let's talk about what we can expect from Tesla based on real data and information available. There are a lot of rumors going around the internet about the specs of Tesla Model 2. Reading through blog posts, forums, and comments, it's clear that there seems to be a lot of speculation on this subject, and unfortunately, most of it is inaccurate. Therefore, after searching and looking at the relevant data, I believe I know what is accurate regarding Regarding Model 2 specifications. And although some elements can never be certain before Model 2 is released by Tesla, one can make an informed idea based on available information. Tesla's priorities for 2023 are ambitious, and there is good evidence to suggest that the company is well on its way to achieving them. With over 1.5 million pre-orders of Tesla Cybertruck already in the bank, it's looked like this vehicle will be hitting showroom floor soon. Model 2 and Model A will follow close behind, with production predicted to start as early next year. Here. Lastly, Elon Musk's vision of deploying electric semi across America's highways look right on track too. Chinese media sources also reported that negotiations with suppliers had been finalized. While the road ahead may be bumpy, Tesla could still celebrate numerous success by 2023. Tesla made good in their promise to offer the world's cheapest electric car. However, that didn't happen for the reasons that most people assume. Everyone was expecting Tesla to rush ahead and launch their groundbreaking product. But they had actually been waiting for CATL, a Chinese battery manufacturer, to deliver on their promise of a new battery technology. Using the M3P CTP battery, Tesla could provide the product at a price point consistent with their goal. Otherwise, it's reasonable that they could not make affordable electric car for mass production without this technology. So although some thought Tesla was holding out for more time or money, in reality, they were awaiting the battery technology necessary to meet their vision of an affordable, eco-friendly car. And Tesla's newest electric vehicle plans to revolutionize the way we think about cars thanks to its highly advanced battery technology. The M3B reference is to the battery tech, and CTP is a nod to the fact that it's a structural battery explicitly designed for this car. In other words, without this technology, the car would not be possible. However, while Tesla has revealed that they plan on outfitting their high-end vehicles with 4680 battery cells, unfortunately, their lower-priced cars will only come equipped with lithium-iron phosphate batteries. Considering all the leaps and bounds that Tesla has achieved in terms of technological and production prowess over the last few years, I'm confident that they will be able to start mass-producing their new vehicle for the fourth quarter of 2023 one year from now. In fact, I would go for as far as to say that Tesla has likely already begun trial production for this new model. However, they probably need more time to ramp up production quickly enough to meet such an ambitious timeline. But then again, given what we know about the cost of vehicles, with Tesla aiming for them to be 50% cheaper than their current base models. Tesla has enough motivation and resources to rise to this challenge. Tesla has began to employ new methods to meet their goals and land those 30% profit margins they're aiming for. M3P batteries can reduce the vehicle's overall weight by decreasing the number of batteries needed. And with the implementation of this structural battery pack, they can get more efficiency. Furthermore, using materials like its structural Giga casting allows them to keep weight down while still providing optimal performance. This is really the only feasible way for Tesla to hit start targets, and as a result, they will stay ahead in industry market shares and pricing models. It's been a dream of Elon Musk for some time for Tesla to offer an affordable electric car to the masses. And so, the latest announcement starting that they plan to reduce the price of their base model variant in China to $25,000 might make it a reality. However, reducing their manufacturing costs below $18,000 is challenging. I see that higher up on the price range or not, this company knows how to reduce emissions and increase performance dramatically with all its models due to unparalleled industry-leading efficiency. Introducing the reduced base model variant could diversify Tesla's customer base. It could also increase overall sales number if it sells at a reasonable market rate. Tesla's dream of reducing its vehicle's cost is largely achievable due to its commitment to 100% localization. 
This means that Tesla sources components from suppliers located near its Shanghai plant, and by staying close to these local providers, they can benefit from reduced shipping costs and faster construction times. Moreover, the scale of Tesla's planned EV production could drastically reduce their per-unit cost, as larger orders tend to be met with lower individual prices. This combines to create the perfect cocktail for a vehicle whose purchase price will draw many new fans. Tesla has made bold prediction that they will produce more of their combined models Y3, SX, and Cybertruck than ever before. This is a highly ambitious projection for the leading electric car manufacturer and has steered some skepticism in the industry, but Tesla seems confident that this goal is achievable. Despite a difficult 2020, Elon Musk has repeatedly stated that the company is focused on bringing revolutionary changes to the auto manufacturing industry. These statements, combined with the Model Y's impressive performance, indicate that Tesla's prediction might be become a reality. It's no surprise that Tesla is set to produce millions of cars in 2021, and predicting the exact amount of production is an ambitious yet exciting part of this journey. There are a few potential sites for production, with the first in Shanghai. However, due to the external factors, it does seem smarter for Tesla to focus on producing Model Y cars more so in their Texas factory than anywhere else. The key reason is that shipping from China would cost much more costly. For instance, not getting certain incentives would impact the venture's overall financial feasibility. Tesla's factory in Austin, Texas, and the company has another big plan up its sleeve. With a size that is almost twice as big as its Fremont facility, Tesla could quickly produce enough models for North America from the Austin location. In fact, Tesla has already started production of the Cybertruck and the Model Y there, providing that it has plenty of room to expand. Furthermore, Tesla will likely invest even more resources into their enormous Texas facility and use it to increase their presence in the area for years to come. Now, before we continue, I'd like to thank you for getting this far. And if you want to know more, then make sure to watch this next part. As for the car, Electra claims that this car won't have steering wheel, pedals, or brakes, but that's just plain ridiculous. Obviously, people are being misled by this kind of clickbait nonsense, and it's time to stop it. This car will likely have steering wheel, accelerator, and brake pedal, just like any other electric car. When it comes to models, Tesla plans to offer two different versions, a hatchback and an SUV version. Interestingly, the two will share a lot of the same parts, up to 80%, including their battery packs, door panels, and roof panels. This approach allows for cost savings and prevents repetitive production of car models, making Tesla's venture even more efficient and cost-efficient. After much speculation about the value of the forthcoming electric cars, it seems there will be indeed B6 variants. The basic model is expected to come with a single motor and standard range specification. It is also rumored to cost around $25,000 in China, but other countries may have slightly higher prices. The long-range version has been proposed as a single rear drive motor with some added features. For those looking for a more adrenaline-filled option though, there will also be a performance model with dual motors, similar to Tesla's Model 3 performance. This promises more power than any other variant and offer a good balance between features and price. Tesla will probably offer three different battery pack sizes for their upcoming models. The packs will be equipped with the same advanced battery technology and manufactured by CATL in their factory. But what might catch you off guard are the details. I'm betting on a 30 kilowatt hour pack, a 40 kilowatt hour pack, and likely a whopping 50 kilowatt hour option. This won't be your average range restricted electric vehicle. These new packs could hold enough energy to power these vehicles much farther than initially expected. It seems that Tesla's engineers have also done their homework on finding the right weight for their vehicles. The Model 2 hatchback is estimated to weigh around 1,400 kilos or 2,900 pounds. Meanwhile, the cross crossover variant is rumored to come at 1,600 kilos or 3,300 pounds. Despite being lightweight, this course will still achieve impressive ranges. The entry-level model should reach a distance of 200 miles on its 30 kilowatt hour battery pack. The top-of-the-line model with a more power 50 kilowatt hour battery should be capable of hitting around 280 to 290 miles before recharging again. Now, China might be lucky to get the base model of this new electric car for an incredible price of $25,000 with a top performance model at a slightly higher price. But no matter where you live, this new electric vehicle will be very reasonable priced, with US pricing expected to start around $30,000 and top out at about $40,000. For the price of the Tesla cars in Europe, it is widely speculated that they will be cheaper than in the US even though they won't be manufactured there. Instead, it is believed that the factory in China will be produced them before they are shipped straight over to the region. 
This makes sense as Tesla would incur additional costs if they were to produce them based in Germany with no extra advantages to outweigh the cost. While we can't be sure of the exact cost of electric cars in Europe, it's likely cheaper than the other parts of the world due to an influx or more affordable models from car. It's likely cheaper than in other parts of the world due to the influx in more affordable models from China. Experts are convinced that within in the next few years, up to 20% of the car market could be Chinese-made. This would force Tesla to compete by lowering their prices for the base and top spec models, which are currently estimated at $28,000 and $38,000 respectively. It will be interesting to see what unfolds over time as competition heats up in this ever-challenging industry. So, what do you think of this prediction about Tesla Model 3? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And while you're at it, make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons as well. Now, if you want to know more about what's in for Tesla next year, then make sure to click and watch this video right here and enjoy! And that's the end of this video guys, see you next time!